today, this is episode eight, eight, seven, seven, seven. <laughs> and we are going to talk about um, the fiber retreat we went to last weekend, and Misty went to an awesome new yarn shop, and we got some fantastic yarn and supplies from some of our listeners and friends, so we'll be sharing all that. So this last weekend, we went to the Naughty Ladies Retreat. And we had a great time. We met lots of cool local fiber artists, and we actually interviewed three of them. Yes. Um, first up, so we have a video to share with you. The first part is Misty kind of welcoming you to the fiber retreat, and then we have Lemoyne and Dorothea from Crazy Sheep Ladies, and then we talked to Unplanned Peacock. So, is there anything else you want to say about the video or interviews before we? No. Let's get started. Enjoy them. Hi, and welcome to the Naughty Ladies Retreat. We um, arrived yesterday, and we've had a great day spinning, and today I think it'll be even more fun. There's so many more people here today, and a little more relaxed, and we're looking forward to some great time chatting and spinning and meeting new people. Awesome. And over here is Misty's booth. You can see her yarn, her beautiful self-striping yarn over here to the left, and her fiber. She dyed some of the fiber from Bluebird Legacy Farm, which is my mom's sheep farm. Oh, and her cute stitch markers. So cute. Okay, and then my booth is right over there. Well, it's really more of a table. You can see my mom's yarn here in the foreground, and in the background, hand-dyed fiber and my hand-dyed yarn. And my book is there. The fiber I dyed and the yarn I spun is there. And this is kind of the view from the entrance. You can see beyond there's an alpaca farm and then the whole room has knitters, knitting, and more vendors against the other wall. It's first thing Saturday morning, so not everybody is here yet. Hi, so I'm at the booth of Crazy Sheep Lady. This is her hand spun yarn. I love this pink yarn so, so much. It's 440 yards and look how finely it's spun. And here are the Crazy Sheep Ladies, <laughs> Dorothea and Lemoyne. Hi. Hi there. <laughs> um, so you guys are the Crazy Sheep Ladies. What's your website? Uh, CrazySheepLadies.com. Excellent. And when did you guys get started? A year ago. About a year ago this weekend. We have been friends for a while, and we came here together just to see if we could sell some stuff, and we really enjoyed working together. And our sort of working relationship is we do a lot of things that the I do a lot of things that she doesn't do, and she does a lot of things that I don't do, and so together it seemed to be a good fix. And so over the year we've worked on getting our our stuff ducks in a row, as it were. And so this weekend we rolled out our brand. Yay, I'm so excited. I love new businesses. Um, so what do each of you do in the booth? Well, I spin and make felted soap and raise sheep for the fiber. And uh, Oh, really? What kind of sheep do you have? Well, I have a variety. Yeah? I have all, you know, a bunch of different types. Awesome. So you are a crazy sheep lady. <laughs> and how about you, Dorothea? I spin and I knit and I teach classes in spinning and knitting. And I do, I make the sock earrings, which are oh, right. very popular. We need to, can I get past you to shoot the sock <laughs> sure. earrings? Aren't they super cute? Oh, so cute. Okay, so go to Crazy Sock Ladies to find them. Dot com. Crazy them and all the sheep ladies. Ah, okay, I got distracted <laughs> by the socks. The socks, the socks are easily distracted. Yes, they they're so people. cute. So Crazy Sheep Ladies. Dot com to find the hand spun yarn, the soaps, the socks, everything. Thank you so much. You're Thank so welcome. You. Thanks oh, for talking. To you were telling me you're going to be at another show, right? Right. We're going to be at Old Liberty Fiber Festival in um, Bedford, uh, Virginia? Virginia, in April. Mm -hmm. And Excellent. we're at the general store in uh, Westlake. Westlake, Virginia, every second Saturday. Fabulous. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Okay, now I am in the booth of Unplanned Peacock, and both Misty and I were forced to buy some of this yarn because look at all of that gorgeous yarn. And I'm here with the dyer. Hello, Natasha. Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, tell me what your website is. Uh, www.unplannedpeacock.com. Excellent. And when did you get started? I I have a degree in costume design for theater, so I actually started dyeing stuff many years mm -hmm. ago. Um, I started this business about five years ago. Oh, that's fantastic. And um, you were just telling me you're going to be in another show in this area, right? Seth is Seth. the next one that I'm here. That's fantastic. Yeah. And when is that? October? That is the last weekend of October. Okay, and that's outside of Asheville? It's by Asheville. North Carolina. Fletcher, Fletcher North Carolina. 
Excellent. Um, so I love your yarn and Thank I love you. your colors. <laughs> Thank you. You said you started dyeing some stuff. Uh -huh. What What did you start dyeing? Well, I was a costumer, so we did a lot of oh. dyeing and painting of fabric and costumes. Mm -hmm. So that's really what I started dyeing. That's fantastic. And what brought you to yarn? Um, well, when I learned how to knit, um, I just thought, well, I can dye this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I started to do. I think that's how it works for most people. <laughs> you know? Okay. I love dyeing. That's one of my favorite parts of costume design. So it was easy to, to translate it to this. Yeah, and your colors are gorgeous. Thank you, Thank you so much for talking sure, to me. Absolutely. Thanks. The, the Fiverr retreat was great. We had a good time. We got to um, we got to sit with Joan of Lollipop Yarns, and she was so nice. I had met her last year um, at the retreat and made a point of introducing myself. But I was with my mom, and we didn't stay long. I just kind of said hi, and um, I had one. Shortly after that, I think, I, or before that, or around that time, I had won a skein of yarn from her. And um, so when she came in this time, I said hi, and she remembered me. And I was like, well, if you don't have anybody to sit with, come sit with us. And so she did. And she was just amazing. She gave us some good advice and tips. And we got to talk to her about her business. Yeah. I asked her lots of questions because I love talking to people about their businesses. And yeah. you know what I just realized, though? Last night was her shop update. I totally missed it. Oh. So her yarn goes super fast when she lists it. Fast. It's all self-striping sock yarn. It's and amazing. It, the socks I knit, I'm so sad because I hadn't knit them in, like, knit socks in forever. And I knit them a little bit big, but the yarn oh. feels so good. And oh. I'm so sad. I wear them around the house anyway. I had my colorway all picked out. I was all ready to go, oh, but yeah. last night was The Walking Dead, and oh, so yeah. <laughs> I was um, totally forgetting about yarn, uh, except for the knitting, which cable. I do. We when, don't have cable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when things get gory, I like knit like this, <laughs> and Jay will tell me when to look up. So, but sadly, Great. I did not get any yarn, but um, we will link to her shop and her, she regularly posts on Ravelry before she has updates. It looks yeah. like she does it like once a month. Yeah, and I don't know if she's going to do this again. I know last night was the first time she did it. Uh, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a regular thing with her. But she did a thing where if you have never had lollipop yarn, that means you've never knit with it whatsoever. I don't count because I'd won it. <laughs> but if you've never knit with her yarn, then she's having a special update for new people. That way you have a better chance of getting in snagging and, and snagging some because, yeah, it goes that fast. And it yeah. is worth it. It's really awesome. So... Yeah, it looks amazing. Her colorways are awesome. And on her blog, she does these great stories about each colorway. Yeah, it's super cool. the names are really fun. <laughs> but we should actually talk about the person we just interviewed, uh, An Unplanned Peacock. We both. Yes. Her booth was amazing. It was. She had so many pretty things. Which actually you can probably see in the video you just yeah. watched. And um, she had a lot of different bases too, which I really loved. So I got in the colorway Sapphire. Twinkle Twist, which is 400 yards in a superwash merino nylon and Stellina. And it, you might note, matches the yarn that Misty made for the Doctor Who kits. It's a similar shade of blue. I'm going to make a shawl using both skeins. Um, I know they'll definitely be a demarcation because they're not the exact same color, but they're close enough. Maybe and you could stripe it or something. Well, the look I'm going for... Like, the, the pattern actually calls for three different skeins of yarn. Oh, but okay. I wanted it to be really similar. So I... It's going to look like the night sky. It's so pretty. I love it. Uh, and Misty also got a skein of her I yarn. I did, but I'm silly. And it was, ex <laughs> it was expensive because it was alpaca silk cashmere. It Ooh. was... It felt the best ever. And in order to justify spending that much on yarn, I said, oh, look, it's for Christmas. And so I am a crazy person and I come home and I say, honey, look what you got me for Christmas. <laughs> and I made him put it up in the closet in the hallway. So we don't have and it to you. <laughs> no, it's hot pink and it's lovely and I will pull it out after Christmas and show you guys. It was so, so fantastic. But what is awesome is that she offered to do a giveaway. So you have a chance to win a skein of beautiful unplanned peacock yarn in whatever colorway you would like on one of her sock bases. And this is a sock base with the Stellina in it. Isn't it pretty? And while you're ordering, go ahead and pick up some alpaca silk cashmere. And it feels yeah, amazing. It's amazing. So, you can say it's for Christmas. We won't tell you. <laughs> in order to enter the giveaway, you're going to go to her Facebook page and like it. First of all, you're going to find all these links at handmadepodcast.com. So click on the link to go to her Facebook page, like it, and then come to our Ravelry group, comment on the um, post that is, you know, announcing this episode seven. There'll be a little thread for you to say, hey, I went and liked your Facebook page. I'm going to enter the giveaway. We will pick one person from those of you who do that. And we are going to do it actually in the next week. 
because SAF is next weekend, mm -hmm. and she'll be at SAF. So if you'll be at SAF, you can pick up your skein there, is what she said. Okay, so we'll do this on Thursday of this week. So yes. today is Monday. Some of you will be seeing this on YouTube tonight late. Some of you will be seeing it on iTunes on Tuesday, so you only have a couple days to get your name in the pot. That's right. Go to our Facebook page, like it, come to our Ravelry group, tell us that you entered. We will pick one person randomly, and then we will uh, talk to Unplanned Peacock, and you guys will uh, figure out how you're going to get the yarn. You don't have to be at SAF. She said she would be happy to send it to you. You'll go to our website, pick your colorway, and she will send it to you. Um, you guys will work it all out between you. But yay, our first giveaway! Yay! Yay! And it's yarn from a lady that we loved and yeah, had such a good time really nice. meeting her. So mm -hmm. a big thank you to Unplanned Peacock. Go yes. check out her stuff. It's so gorgeous. We love it. So we had even more, other than the fiber retreat, stashing happening. <laughs> yeah, um, I got that one skein. I got a set of Carbons needles from... What I'm so bad. What was the Knoxville vendor that was there? Their little shop that was Yarn Haven. Yarn Haven. Which I've been to multiple times. They actually recognized me and she was like, Oh hi, I know you. It was awesome. They're so, so sweet. And it's a little shop, but it has amazing yarn and stuff in it. So what did you get from them? I got carbons. Oh, yeah, and so I've I heard that these needles are really close to signatures that a lot of people say if you can't have signatures, get carbons. So here's the woohoo, sorry. <laughs> Here is my signatures loose, and here's the carbons. The points are somewhat similar, um, but the taper on the the signatures is is quite a bit longer, quite a bit bigger taper. These taper pretty fast. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, I got a size to do the sleeves for my sweater, um, and I haven't started those yet, so I haven't used them. So I'll let you guys know. And I also, let's see, I got some fiber, and this was during Spinzilla, so I spun some of it up. I can't it's decide so if awesome. it's pretty or ugly. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it was black wool and silk noil, and I spun it very thick, and I'm hoping to maybe do like a little cow as a gift or something. I think it's going to be fantastic. I got some buttons, but I gave, I got those from Unplanned Peacock also. They were really pretty. I gave them to my mom. <laughs> She picked some of my gray yarn to use to knit with, and she's making this little cow, and all those buttons would have looked so pretty <laughs> on, this, on the gray. They were um, uh, clay, mm -hmm. and so they had just a little raised, simple outline of a flower, and then the glaze on it was this pink, but it was mm -hmm. glazed looking, so it was just really a pretty color button on there. And so, yeah, she's going to do a little gray cow and have the three little buttons on there. Oh, that's and so I sweet. also got... Um, both this black stuff and this is just mystery, mystery white roving is all it says on here. It was an amazing price, 7.1 really ounces for $12. It is amazingly soft. I mean, like soft enough to where I think it could even be like it definitely alpaca. has alpaca in there. Yeah. I think it's wool and alpaca blend. I don't know, but That's it is guess. it is so soft. Maybe mohair. I don't know. It's a little, yeah, it, I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit. Harry, Harry, yeah, something. but it was so soft. I couldn't <laughs> resist. So we'll see. I enjoyed um, spinning some. I hadn't spun in a long time, so I, I tried to spin some um, before I went that week, and um, we spun quite a bit while we were there. And so yeah, was fun. we spun side by side almost the whole time. It was super fun, and I spun what was a gift uh, from Sheep Spot. This is the label that came on it. It's organic Polworth in the colorway Invigorate. And holy cow, is this beautiful. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness, and it's so soft. And so it's hand-painted roving that then I spun into this yarn just very simply. <gasps> Her it's so spinning beautiful. is so pretty. I just want it. <laughs> I've got, she showed so me the, amazing. oh my gosh, it's so soft. <laughs> like, I don't want to stop touching it. I know, I can't wait to see what you make out of it. You're going to have to make a cowl oh, or something. You I'm can... not going to make something out of it. Oh yeah? We are going to offer this as a giveaway in future weeks. <gasps> oh, cool. Yeah, so that because is amazing. I have enough hand spun yarn, and this feels amazing, and I want you guys to all check out Sheep Spot. She does breed-specific wool, which means that each of her yarns and each of her fibers is only one breed. Oh. So you really get a feel for what the characteristics of each breed are, and her website That's does really a great cool. job of explaining it to you. And then she makes gorgeous colors. Yeah. Gorgeous colors. And that'll be, um, I know that some of the podcasts, I forget which one, say new to use. Try, you know, right. challenge you to do new to you stuff. And so yeah. that'll be a really, what was this? 
This is organic pole worth. Pole worth, you said that. Yeah, which I had never felt. It feels so amazing. Yeah. So amazing. So that was a gift from Sheep Spot. Thank you so much, Sasha. I loved it. And you guys should all check it out. There will be a link at handmadepodcast.com. And then, <laughs> because that's just not generous enough, I also was a scent yarn from Katie of Yarn Love. And Katie's been a student for like the past year. <clears throat> and I have been, <laughs> we have been uh, working on our business together. Her business is amazing. Her yarns are amazing. And so oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm going to walk you through each You can't thing. have this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a skein I'm claiming. <laughs> yeah. I understand why. That's so Isn't that beautiful? pretty. So she just sent me yarns so I could check out each what they are. This is Anne Shirley, which is 100% merino wool. And it seems to be about worsted. Yeah, that's what it says, worsted. Check that out, though. So it's pink, and then it goes into blues, and then it's light blue, and it's dark blue. And the yarn base is Anne Shirley. And the name is Final Frontier. Does she know me or what? It's such a <laughs> geeky name. Um, so that is awesome. Here, you want to feel that? Oh, yeah. Anne Shirley. Okay, nice. so Anne Shirley from Anne of Green Gables, which was my favorite book growing up. And so I love that base. Um, this is the base is Elizabeth Bennett from Pride and Prejudice, so I love it too. The colorway is Haute Couture, and it is a super fine merino, bamboo, and silk. Mm. And she suggests she suggests a zero to three, so I think it's about fingering weight. There are two skeins of this. Um, isn't that fantastic? Mm -hmm. Bamboo and silk and wool. It feels so good. And then the last skein, which I'm keeping, I love it so much. <laughs> Marie Antoinette is the base. It's super wash merino. 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, and it is also um, fingering weight, and it is, the colorway is Tinkerbell, and look at that black sparkly. Um, I love that. And then it goes into like greens and pinks and oranges. I don't know what I'm going to knit with it, but I've been obsessing over it since it came in the mail. Yeah. Thank you so much, Yarn Love. Uh, so check her out at yarnloveshop.com, and on Twitter and Instagram, she's Yarn Love Yarn. Yarn Love Yarn. Yeah, exactly. So Katie's awesome, and isn't that just fantastic? It is. So yay, stash enhancement. <laughs> um, next up is, I've just been really, really blessed this week with fantastic mail. And, oh, I just realized I don't have one in here with me. So another one for next week. These are oh, you clips. Yeah. I, I I'm going to show them to you. The, so I don't know if you can tell. There's a tiny little latch, and you slide your needles in. And then you latch it and you close it and they stay so firmly. They're nothing like those little things you just slip on the ends because these stay no matter how much you tug. Me and Jay were messing on them. We we're like tugging them and you can find them at, um, ooh, did I write it down? Because my mind is going blank. So they're called U-Clips and you can find them, oh, at thepearlyu.com. She sends them in this little bag. And the inside has this little spongy stuff inside so it looks like it would fit just about any needle oh and it, it looks like it it clipped oh this is the release is there yeah release? yeah yeah exactly so if you clinch click click it down here wait let's stick my needle in so you stick your needle in and then you click it all the way down so if you have a big needle it won't click as much it has like a couple different settings oh, that's cool you push it all the way down they're firmly in there like your little kid sitting on your lap cannot pull these off your dog your cat my cat used to love to run around the house with my knitting and wrap it around things, oh, no. pulling out <laughs> mini oh, stitches. Yeah. Not anymore with this. I mean, she can ruin the yarn, but she can't get, you cannot pull that off. No. It's like fully, fully clipped on there. So thank you. I love these. I brought this one for you. She sent me two. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Um, so that is at Pearly U, Pearly, like P-U-R-L-Y, uh -huh. and then you, like a sheep. Uh, dot com and those are called U clips and she is just starting to make them. She's already had a lot of interest from yarn shops. We were um, emailing just about her business and then she said, "I want to thank you for all of your help by sending you these U clips." I was like, "I would love these U clips." <laughs> so they're fantastic. I've never been, you know, before I hung out with you, I wasn't a person for a knitting bag and I never have bought any needle holder things. But she has a video on her site of basically her baby playing in her lap and you know, like trying to pull them off. So I don't know. Thank you. I was missing it all this time. Those are fantastic. Really great. But uh, that's it for Adventures in Stashing. Now, what are you working on? Okay. You got to um, show what's in your hands because I love it so much. Yes. <laughs> I did a <clears throat> self-striping with uh, UT Vol Colors. And I love it. And I'm knitting a sock head hat for a Christmas gift 
for my stepdad because he really appreciates hand-knit stuff and I'll always ask me to make him something for Christmas. I told him I got him something the other day. He's like, well, you're still going to make me something, aren't you? I'm like, yeah, of course. You know? <laughs> so um, I'm making a sock head hat. He'll love it. And I will, um, as soon as I can, have some of this shop uh, uh, yarn up in the shop. I've had people ask me about it, where they've seen it. So I'm glad you guys like it. If you're from Tennessee. <laughs> Well, Continue. and you know what, uh, Jay and I always joke that, uh, so UT, University of Tennessee, is this color orange, but University of Texas is almost like this color orange, mm -hmm. a little more orange, and so all the time I'll find things and I'll be like, look, it's UT orange, and he's like, that's the other UT. <laughs> so, this is actually the right Knoxville, Tennessee Oh, yeah, UT I pulled up UT colors on, on the internet <laughs> when I went to dye this, so yeah, it's I really tried UT. to get. So, I'm working on this. And do you want me to show you my next thing? Yeah. Okay. I have did. Oh, I started this. I love how this is knitting up. I was like, I, if that doesn't Ooh. sell over the weekend, I'm so casting it on. So this is also <clears throat> your hand dyed yarn. This is my hand dyed yarn. I named this Making Faces. <laughs> it's so and cute. And it was, oh, my ball's like falling apart. <laughs> and it was, um, it's in my sock base skirting. And it's spiraling, and I'm just loving it. It is so, so It pretty. is so cute, and I am, the pattern, I've, all I've did is ribbing so far, but the pattern I'm going to do is bootstrap um, in the <laughs> archi Sock Architect. Oh, right. Yeah, in okay. that Sock Architect book, and we are going to do a review soon, but I actually, she's got such great information in there that I actually wanted to, um, where I'm, I'm kind of like a new sock knitter. I've knit like years ago, I knit a couple pair and then put them down for years. So since then, I knit one pair last year and one pair this year. So I still feel like a newbie when it comes to socks. And she had so much information. I felt, I don't know, where, where I was so new, I felt like I could absorb it better if I actually did a pattern because I'm just, yeah, no. yeah, you gotta apply it. You gotta apply it, and so I felt like that I could really get it better if I did that because I've never even did a, a heel flap. I always did like oh, I've did right, like, like a, a short row. I've did a short row before. I've did a afterthought before, and I've did the fish lips kiss heel before. And I love, love, love trying all the. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, <laughs> I like trying different heels, and I'm gonna do a. Uh, I think it's a. I forget what heel it is, but it was something definitely new, and it looked pretty, and I wanted a pretty basic sock, so this one has just a little detail down the legging, mm -hmm. and then the different heel for me, yeah. and so I thought that one would be a really good one to start with, and I, I was using this variegated yarn so that it would show this off nicely, and... Mm -hmm. I but yeah, it. I wanted to, I still want to do plain socks. I don't want to have to worry about too much of a pattern just yet while I'm still playing around. But eventually, those pattern socks are so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah. that's from the Sock Architect Architecture. Sock Architect. We'll, we'll have the link. Yeah, um, we'll have the link. By Sock Cooperative Press. And they gave us a copy of that book to mm -hmm. read and check out, which we appreciate. Yes. So we'll be linking to that. You can check yes. it out too. And I did, let's see, I'm doing, uh, this is my Miss Winkle, and I'll briefly show you guys this because it is getting bigger and it bigger. It is, it's so pretty. And so, you want me to hold part of it? This is the, what's on the needles, and I'm in the middle of a row, so I really yes. can't spread it out. But yeah, here is the, the loopy edge, and mm -hmm. it's going like this. Fantastic. So you can see that it's getting bigger. So have you gotten to like kind of the point of it? And you're, well, there you're is, now decreasing? There's, no, there's no decreases. You just knit until you run out of yarn, and it is um, asymmetrical. So it's oh, not... Oh, okay. It'll so your widest point will be then your cast off. Yeah. Okay. And so I still have this much yarn left. Oh, it's so pretty. So I, this is Miss Babs, and I forget what size needles I'm using, sorry. <laughs> well, you'll link to your, your product. Yeah, it, already... it is on my... Pro I've, I do, I've already... I added that link in there to my project page. And last but not least, I'm still working on my blue sand cardigan. Blue sand cardigan. And I love this. I love the yarn. It's so squishy. And I'm so excited. I split for the sleeves and it looks Yay. like an actual little. Did you try it on? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of did with you the other day. Right. Well, and we can do it before I leave. Um, so what I always do is I totally straightened like this is almost all straightened on the needles one side and I kind of bunch up the other side 
And then I just put one arm in and I kind of like adjust this whole half to see if it's mm. fitting me. And um, it looks like it will though. It's so pretty. You gotta, so this is her hand dyed yarn. Do you have this base in your shop yet? Not yet. Um, I used, all, I have like one skein it that I'm going to put up. It's so smooshy. Um, but I did like a variegated mm -hmm. and I'm going to, I used like, I dyed up all the nine skeins and I did, I'm a, if I don't use them all, of course I'll put them up there, but I do plan on getting this base in again. Um, I just need, I need more time. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a busy, I had a busy week last week. I've got a busy week again this week. And hopefully after that, I will slow down to something akin to normal <laughs> and be able to dye some more and have some more up in the shop. By the way, people were asking, uh, is your shop open again? Because you closed it for the retreat. I'm wanting to take better pictures of okay. my stuff. And um, yeah, I closed it for the retreat and then I was home during that week, kind of just recovering a little bit. And then Thursday, I left out again and went to a ladies cabin retreat with my um, church, the ladies from my church. And we had a good time. There was eating and there was shopping and there was eating and it was fun. And that's when you went to the Great Yarn Shop. So. That's when I went. <laughs> it was, it's called Smoky Mountain Spinnery and here's their card and there'll be a link in the show notes. And Misty was so awesome that she shot a video of the shop because it was just adorable and had lots of cute stuff. So we yes. are going to show that video now. I am at Smoky Mountain Spinnery in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and this shop is a dream shop. Look at all the stuff. They have like four or five different brands of needles. They have all of this um, yarn. They have spinning supplies. It is so dreamy in here. I could stay all day and just look at yarn and fiber. Look at all this. They have Ply Magazine, which I have been dying to see. Look at this fiber selection they have. I've never seen. Look at this, how cool. Three feet of sheep, I think it's called. Isn't that neat? And look at this, the locks. I could stay in here all day, ladies. This is amazing. I want to share this with you. And this is so worth seeking out if you're in the Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area. Come up and see them because, wow, just look at all this color. Isn't that amazing? I just want to stay in here all day and spend all my money. They've got several local um, hand dyed yarns too. If you're not into spinning, they've got plenty in yarn selection. And so, yeah, there's something for everybody. Stop in and see them. They sell wheels and looms. They sell these and things on there. I hope I'm not making anybody easy. Sorry if I am. I'm trying really hard to be steady. There you go, ladies. <laughs> okay, so that was their awesome shop. I loved all the little details. They had these little sheep and lambs and llamas or whatever, and they looked all handmade, and they were sitting there with little knitting in their hands. And they had like, I was telling Tara, they had like a ton of stuff in the shop, but it was arranged so that your eyes could settle. Like, okay, here is an awesome shelf of, of colored roving and stuff. And then here is something else and here's something. Else. But it wasn't like a wall of mess. I mean, and yeah. they had a lot of um, local dyers and um, had a lot of books. They had a lot of everything. They had, oh, I also got. Is that where you got the magazine? Uh, yes, I got, I also got a set of needles, the ones I'm using to work on my hat. These are collage, and they are two and a half. Are they square? They're square, and they're quite pointy, <laughs> and I like them, but I don't think they're going to, as far as absolute favorites, I don't think they're going to be favorites. I think I like <laughs> them. They're, they'll be in the top few that if I 
you know, have to choose between a couple, I would pick those, but I think um, I'm anxious to try Chagoo's. They had Haya Haya's there, and I've heard good things about those, but they're just not, the tips didn't look pointy enough for me. They didn't mm -hmm. look like I want them to. So I've heard Chagoo's are the ones to go with next, so hopefully that will be my needle that I love. But I got a copy of Ply Magazine. I've been wanting to see this so stinking bad, but <laughs> nobody I know has it. I know. She's been talking about this magazine forever. I was and hoping I was like, somebody I at the about. retreat would have it. Uh, they had the first copy, and I think this oh, one, it. yeah, this one's Autumn, so I think this is the most recent one. And um, it talks about vending in there. And I was like, oh, I've got to have that. <laughs> so I want to do that one day. So, you know, other than my the little nearby thing. So, yeah, it was, um, it looked like a really cool issue. And I was thinking about maybe asking for a subscription for Christmas. I love it. So, that, so J.C. Boggs is a publisher. Mm -hmm. um, what's her yarn company? Why can't I think of what that's, um, she does, she does. I don't know. Anyhow, her website is great. We'll think of it and link to it. And it is an amazing magazine. <laughs> it's like awesome. So they yay. have. Um, I looked through the first one. It looks like they go over a different breed of sheep and talk about that sheep's qualities. Um, each different issue. And I really haven't had time to look through this. Um, as soon as we got back, uh, we got back really, really late Saturday night, and then Sunday I kind of slept in a little bit, and we took the kids to the circus, and so we had an amazing time. If you've been on my Instagram, you've seen my son with a big, huge snake around his neck, and, <laughs> and I've posted a bunch of pictures and videos and stuff, and we had fun, and um, it was really the best circus. It was um, the Shriner Circus, and my um, stepdad's dad was a Shriner, and so he feels like it's it's uh, going to a good cause, and he goes and just blows tons of money on the kids, and it's awesome. <laughs> they have a great time, but it really was the best one yet. They had a lot of new stuff. Some really, really fun things. They had these jump ropers and these little wiggle uh, <laughs> men, the costume things. And and I did a really cool slow motion video of the guy shooting out a cannon. So that was really <laughs> neat. But we had fun. So I love that this this episode talks about Shetland wool. Yeah, because we I saw both, that. Yeah. We both just spun with Shetland wool a lot because my mom has Shetland sheep. And, uh, and I dyed some. And I thought for sure some of the spinners would want it. But no, I didn't have any Put it takers. in your shop. But I'm totally putting it in the shop. But I didn't it. really have a good way of... Um, I didn't really know how to package it. I wanted people to be able to really see it and feel it and stuff. So I have these big, huge, honking yeah. things of it. I'm going to have to braid it up before I put it in the shop because I can't Probably. mail it that way, you know. So. Right, yeah. You just have to, like, jam it down in the handle. Yeah, that would be good. So my only project I'm working on is the Blue Sand Cardigan. Well, it's not really the only project. It's the only project I brought because it's the only project that's made any progress. You see, I also split for the sleeves. That's what you're looking at there, the sleeve. And I changed to my... What, the color, the third color, <laughs> which is the second um, contrast color. So this will be the main color, the star gray, and that light gray is the contrast color. There'll be so two stripes pretty. of that. And so this is think pink in plucky feet. This is flannel in plucky primo, and then this is silver fox on mad tosh light merino light, and it feels amazing like to knit with the light gray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That so the the dark gray softens a lot when you wash it but to knit with it it has kind of a stiff feeling mm -hmm. but the as you remember you touch the finish swatch it feels amazing but the really the is. mad tosh is actually amazing to knit with it feels just awesome so good so i think that's it for um we went through, also, oh, i feel like we went through things everything really fast because we had so much and, and extra and videos like, to share so we hope that yeah. you enjoyed going to the fiber retreat with us but actually misty is going to be at SAF next weekend i am if you would like to meet up with me let me know because i think what i'm going to do is drop my kids off at school and head down there so i'm expecting to get on to, friday yeah on friday to get down there between like 10 30 and 11 or something and Carolina Spinner has offered to meet uh, a group for dinner at five. And so I have like all day to find something to do. I was like, yes. I guess I'll go as long as I can find something to entertain me all day. Oh, you will. Like the, so, yeah. the show itself will be entertaining. And then there's sheep and then there's so yeah, fun. Yeah, so I've never been to anything like this. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I wish so. I could go with you. I'm I know, so excited I'm so for sorry. you. <laughs> you can't go. But, but yeah. so there's a thread on our Ravelry group where you are meeting up with 
various people at like different times and i um i started it because i was talking to varian brandon who's like an asheville based oh, i designer. saw her this morning i was on ravelry and oh my gosh her designs are amazing yeah, right they really yeah are. so she was saying i'm gonna be at staff she was asking me if i was gonna be there and i was like no but misty will be and you guys should definitely meet up so in that thread post if you're gonna go you guys can work out a time i mean you could meet like for coffee with everybody or i thought maybe you could interview them yeah like take a little video yeah. and ask them how long you've been doing it let them show their design I so love to. if you want to be on the podcast or if you just want to say hi if you're camera shy you don't have to be we we kind of forced the ladies at the fiber retreat <laughs> yeah. but we will not force you no. <laughs> if you meet up with misty and i'm sad i won't be there i'll be um around san diego and la for my brother's college graduation and if you're in that area you can email me tara at tarasfiger.com and we can meet up for a coffee i'm already meeting several students so I'd love to see you we would both love to see you yeah. in Asheville or in San Diego so thanks so much for watching yes I think that's it for us. us have a great day bye bye